stage where we can move in and shit. I just won't have a full kitchen and stuff, but that's okay. I can deal with that. Anyway, we'll see what's over here in Oklahoma. I uh, see there's any food trucks or something to stop at. I know there's a fireworks stand because it's 4th of July. So uh, yeah, we'll check it out. There's a beer store, fireworks stand, all that good stuff. Now, last year over here they had some good food, but I don't see the food truck this year, so uh, we'll roll on. Join me! Ciao, y'all! And as you probably know, Oklahoma's the number one place to get grass these days. Oh, and this kind of grass too. This uh, this is a sod farm. You know, they got these sod farms on this side of the river. And I guarantee you one thing, I don't know who makes more money, the ones raising grass or, or, or raising grass, because the ones raising this grass for the sod farms and all, they got some mega mansions over here. So I hope you mofos are enjoying the the new old school style chef videos where I don't give a fuck and I just say it how it is and we just do whatever. I, don't, I haven't been doing no cooking videos on there for a while because nobody watches the damn things. There's a lot of work, you know, setting up uh, tripods and shit and making everything come out at the same time so I can show you the shit. This, this way I just be myself, shoot the camera and point it and you know, here we go, you know. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. If not, I really don't give a fuck, but if you are, I give a fuck, and I'm glad you do, you know? Uh, from the comments I got so far, people seem to be liking the old style videos better, so uh, hey, you know, that's good for everybody. It makes me happy, it makes you happy, and uh, yeah, we roll on. So the opening scene there was the clips, uh, opening clips there from the scenes of my safe. My safe is getting very depleted. Yeah, very depleted. I don't do a lot of work this time of year because it's slow. And when you cash flow in the house, it depletes your money flow. So uh, maybe I just need to start Cash App and uh, five GoFundMe's and uh, eBay every night, you know, something like that. I mean, um, I'm not above that. Uh, I can do that. You guys let me know in the comments below if you want me to be an eBay and a scumbag. I can do that. I have no problem with that. Or maybe I can have, you know, somebody like Lamont set them up for me. So I, it's kind of a shield. I don't look like the asshole for setting up my own GoFundMe accounts. I can have them set up like one that says, send shit up to France. Uh, uh, you know, send, send shit up to hell. Wherever, you know. We have a goal to set. And uh, as soon as that goal's met, I go to hell or France or Guam or where the fuck the place y'all want to send me to. Yeah, why not? No, for real, I'm just bullshitting. Uh need no GoFundMe's or anything like that. I'm just uh, fucking with you guys. I have tinkered with this idea though. And this, I want y'all to tell me in the comments what you think about this idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. Okay. I go live stream. I have uh, on my live streams I do have the uh, way where you can super chat me. I haven't ever put like the super thing saying that shit on there but I guess I should do that. But that's not the point. Anyway the point is I do have it set up, I believe, where I can get super chats. And 
I was thinking this would be fucking hilarious and fun. I do a super chat, a live stream, and go to like an Asian store or an Indian store or some shit, right? And you guys tell me the most fucked up shit to buy, and you super chat whatever the cost is, then I have to buy it. And I have to go home that night or the next day, however it plays out, you know, you know, if I'm a long ways from home, it'll be the next day, but I have to use those fucking ingredients that y'all send me, that y'all pay for, and cook some shit up with it. So it might be fucking squid or octopus or badussy for all I know, you know, whatever the fuck it is. Y'all be like, oh shit, you gotta buy that really fucked up looking mushroom over there, or whatever, you know, whatever it is, and I gotta make something out of it. I gotta figure out how to make it a whole meal. I think that'd be kind of fun. It can't be like dinner impossible, and you guys get to choose the ingredients, see? So it can be, uh, can be like being on one of them shows where you got a bunch of fucked up ingredients and you're making something, except you get to fan participate and pick whatever the fuck it is that goes into the, the concoction I have to make. That'd be fun. So uh, you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in that. If enough of you are where it's worth me doing a live stream and there's at least 10 people to participate where we can buy a bunch of crazy shit, I'll do one of those. I think it'd be fun. Hell yeah, folks. We have turned the calendar. We are out of June and into July. Woo-wee, folks. I tell you what. I ain't got nothing against Pride Month. You want to be proud, be proud. But I'm glad we are in shame month now. So people like me, the heterosexual, can rejoice. Hallelujah. I mean, damn, folks. To be a straight white man in America these days is shameful. All right, we're at the end of the day. It's 4th July, and most people have barbecue right now, but we're making fondue. I know, Pride Month's over, I know. Get all your jokes in. All right, so anyway, gonna do chicken, shrimps. I made some tempura batter from scratch. Mmm, good stuff. I've done videos on how to make that stuff, so look back if you wanna see how to make it. We got some mushroom stuffed here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With some boys on cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chef Junior's over here hooking up some ribeye steak. So, I mean, we could have grilled these, but we're going to deep fry them instead. Why not? All right, guys, we're going to make some horseradish cream sauce up. We got some sour cream. I got some horseradish. I'm gonna put uh, some mayonnaise in there, some salt and pepper, and a little wish size sauce, maybe even a little Tabasco. I mean, look at that, folks. It looks like the, the, the damn Stay Puff Marshmallow Man done, done made love to the sour cream jar. All right, so I bought this, I uh, picked it up. This is a beaver. Uh, you gotta, make sure you get some good beaver, folks. Uh, make sure you get nice beaver when you're cooking, you know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I gotta do it one-handed. There we go. Holding the, holding the camera with this hand. Getting that beaver out of the jar. You know, getting beaver out of the jar with one hand is kind of hard. There we go. All right, folks. I got the uh, Tabasco brand garlic pepper sauce. This is my favorite Tabasco. Even though Tabasco really upset me last week when I was down there at the factory. Uh, that's that's on the other channel. So check out the other channel if you want to see what happened there. Uh, I think I, that'll come out for another week or two, but. All right, I got a little Tabasco in there. Garlic Tabasco, and this one is the best one, folks. If you go in and get Tabasco, garlic pepper sauce, make sure you get the, the garlic one. It's the good one. So yeah, folks, that's the Beaver. The Beaver brand. Extra hot horseradish. Well, folks, I couldn't find that Lee and Peran witch and shy sauce. It must've went and fucked off somewhere. So I threw some A1 in there instead. It'll still do the same trick. Just a little bit of that flavor in there. And that's how you make your horseradish cream sauce, folks. And it's absolutely delicious. Just don't drink the shit. It'll make you throw up. Drink all that. As we're getting ready to do some fondue, look at that shit go down. Hell yeah, happy 4th of July to us. All right, guys.
All right, Mrs. Chef, it's time for your hen laying eggs. And this is a rooster. I don't know what the rooster does. I'm sure he probably screams real loud, but uh, yeah, let's find out. If y'all remember, a couple years ago, I had to go all over town trying to find these things, you know. Now, I don't think we ever showed y'all what they do. They don't do much of shit, but, you know, Mrs. Chef likes them, so we're going to do them. Here we go. Here's a hen laying egg. Whoa, about took me out. <laughs> It wanted to be my breakfast casserole. You are old AF, Mrs. Chef. All right, I haven't seen this one before. What does it do? You gonna run after me? Same thing, just different body, but same thing.